Hi, my name is Mark, and this is not Kentucky Ballistics. Oh, I wanted to give a shout out to Scott for the catastrophic failure that he had of a 50 cal uh, that he was shooting and we wish him the best. I do want to mention one other thing about uh, what Scott did really good. Um, the failure that he had was no fault of his own. Uh, go over to, to Kentucky Ballistics and you can check out and he actually shows the video of what happened. But he was wearing his actual safety glasses. If you want to know that your glasses are actual safety glasses, you'll see the ANSI stamp Z87 on the inside of the frame, or you'll see it somewhere somewhere on the inside of the frame has to have the ANSI Z87 stamp. Then you know it's been impact tested and they're actual safety glasses. So good job, Scott. It probably saved your life. Okay, so here is the 1911 by Springfield Armory. This is the range officer, it's really nice. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to do some shooting and kind of see how it goes. You can just let it run. Okay, here we go. Oh, that sounded weird. Really old ammo. Not too bad. You can go ahead and walk up to that target and you can see that. Okay, obviously a little wider, but uh, you know, overall, this is a pretty smooth gun, not too bad. Sorry about the shade, but the shade came out a little bit. Uh, real smooth, it's real nice. I'm kind of shooting crappy ammo today. Can't really hear myself sound well, the wind's blowing too. Anyways, uh, had fun shooting the Range Officer by Springfield Army 9mm, nice gun. I didn't get a chance to, you know, shoot it that much, so uh, it's kind of nice to get out there. I was kind of shooting crappy ammo today. Um, it's just that what we had, no ain't no ammo is, but that's what we had. Anyways, I uh, still want to give best wishes out to Scott over Kentucky Ballistics. We follow K Kentucky Ballistics, he's a great guy. Um, still wish him all the best and a speedy recovery. I can tell you what, that guy is super tough. From the injuries that he took and how he used his thumb to stuff in his neck to stop his, uh, from bleeding out, it looked like maybe he uh, lacerated his carotid artery, uh, used his thumb and part of his t-shirt to keep himself from bleeding out. The dude is tough. And anyways, uh, speedy recovery to Scott, so I'm hoping uh, all is well. I, I'd like to see you back out there again and start doing it all over again. Anyways, but thanks for following along. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, share the video, please like the video, and I'll catch you next time 
on Rogue M4. Thanks. Oh, yep. still filming. Yeah, <laughs>